Please welcome to the stage Dr. Andrew Adamatsky, Professor and Head of Unconventional Computing Lab at UWE Bristol. Hello, uh, I will be talking about uh, computing with fungi. Uh, fungi were the first creatures who arrived at the Earth. Also, fungi are the largest creatures on the Earth. Because you know, in Oregon, there is mycelium, uh, sometimes uh, 40, uh, 40 miles long. And um, at some point, I thought, uh, what will happen if I will insert electrodes in the fungal body, some part in the cup, some part in the stock, and uh, record electrical activity? What I found, another, another example. I found that fungi produce the same spiking electrical activity as neurons do. Let me see an example. These spikes are like classical uh, uh, action potentials. However, if you know that neuron, uh, for example, produce action potential 75 milliseconds, then uh, average action potential of the uh, fungi is about uh, 20 minutes, sometimes six minutes. Now we can imagine, we have large mycelium, and each branching point of the mycelium produces neuron-like spikes. So the whole mycelium network acts as a neural network with about uh, millions of neurons. However, in our brain, neurons spike fast because we must act fast, and we lived actually a very short life, extremely short life. For guys, in theory, they are immortal. They can live for millions. Yes. They can live for millions of years. And therefore, they shouldn't think fast. They can think very slow. And therefore, the action potential spikes, not 75 milliseconds, but uh, 20 minutes. OK. Fungi can sense the same feelings as humans do. They can sense touch. They can sense temperature. They can sense light. That's, for example, uh, we can stimulate phone guys uh, with light. When we switch light on, patterns of electric activity change, like spiking. And uh, when we switch light off, patterns also change. So we decided to use this activity for computation. On the video on the left, you can see a simulated mycelium network. Uh, and the uh, patterns of electrical activity propagating on this network. Uh, patterns is like basically like waves of excitation. They have excitable front, and they have a refractory, uh, refractory tail. And uh, when the wave interact, they can annihilate, uh, they can uh, refract, for example, or travel to different direction. Therefore, we can encode input strings, like data, like binary strings, for example, into the spikes of electrical activity. And uh, we can record outputs also as spike of electrical activity. And here you see on the, on the left, you can see an example of what actually happening when we record electrical activity. And uh, then we can send binary strings. We can record outputs. and. Uh, we can calculate any kind of Boolean functions. So basically, mushrooms are universal computers. Indeed, they are kind of slow computers because they can compute in hours. But there are applications where uh, we don't need speed. For example, we can monitor ecological systems. We can interact with trees. And uh, we can monitor buildings by growing mycelium on them and uh, we can monitor quality of air. So, somehow, somehow slides come to the end quite quickly, but uh, I will tell you about the language of mushrooms. When we recorded electrical activity of mushrooms, we found that they interact with each other with spikes, uh, with strains of the spikes of electrical activity. And, uh, the strains very similar to human words. 
For example, if you know like uh, average length of the word in English is about uh, 4.5, in Greek 6, uh, etc. And average length of the train of spikes uh, will be in, in mushrooms will be about uh, four, six, basically, spikes. And the distribution of the length of the spikes, of the trends of the spikes, uh, is the same as in human language. And therefore, uh, we can basically infer uh, language of mushrooms by uh, making statistical graphs of uh, which train will be followed by another train. And uh, in this way, we communicate uh, with mushrooms. And uh, now we can play uh, language of mushrooms, please. So what you hear now uh, is basically mushrooms speaking. How we record this language? We record electrical activity, and then we uh, convert electrical activity uh, in the sounds. Question could be, what mushrooms are talking about? First of all, they're talking about food. If there is some food, for example, rotting tree, mushrooms will be telling other mushrooms, basically parts of the mycelium, to grow there. If there is dry area of soil, mushrooms will be go to get escape. And now you could imagine, you walk in the forest, and just five millimeters under the soil, there is mycelium network. And when you step on this mycelium network, they feel your weight, basically. And they tell other mushrooms from mycelium networks, which are further, someone is walking. Moreover, as we know, mushrooms communicate with trees. And uh, mushrooms also telling trees that someone walking in the forest or something happens in the forest. And trees can respond back to mushrooms, because in the leaves of the trees, there are special organs which can re react to light and shadow. So when you walk, basically, tree, tree can see you, and tree could, could, be, could recognize you, essentially. And then tree can tell back to mushrooms that you are walking in the forest. And, uh, yes, that's how this poem of mushrooms was derived. We know that there are like 100 most frequent words used in English language. And there are 100 most typical trains of spikes of electrical activity in mushrooms. Uh, then from electrical activity of mushrooms, we derived probabilistic graphs of which word could be followed by another words. And on these graphs, we derived this poem. People come here, look our new thing, find many now, tell when, who won't go into, think way from, into, out, up, like it, take it, see, there is a way to think. It sounds primitive, but as we know, uh, average English family, maybe American family as well, uses just 800 words in their lifetime. Just imagine you in your home, uh, you typically ask wife to prepare, or husband, to prepare dinner, go to sleep, go to work, fill car, and that's all. It's very minimum vocabulary. And mushrooms are the same. And uh, on this, I want to complete my talk. And thank you very much. Yeah.